right, it's uh, Monday. Thought I'd give you guys a little update. Coffee cat's going today. Um, figured out how to put music from iTunes onto an Android with that app the other day. It's pretty sweet. I actually pick what I want to listen to out here. But uh, anyway, things I've accomplished. Can't remember if I showed you guys I got the heater in. Got some of the uh, sound deadening in. I got my dash, not my dash, but my gauges, gauge panel, whatever this is called. It's all painted and installed. Um, I kind of have a weird pet peeve. I just see I need to fix. I hate it when screws don't face the same way. I, I don't know why it's just a pet peeve of mine. Anyway, you got to finish that. Up front. That going on. Got my uh, headlight leads in. The wiring is ran from this side across underneath. Um, you can kind of see it right there. Got one more spot to tie it up here. Now once I do that you won't be able to see it at all especially once the uh, radiator's in. And then the rest of it goes underneath here. It enters the cab right there. Yep. Boss is calling. Let's see what's up. All right. So that's some watermelon for me, which is pretty cool. Little breeze. It's hot though. It's uh, it's just uh, is that thing showing up? I can't get that thing in there. Kind of. It's about 98 in the garage. It's a lot warmer out there. But uh, anyway, so we got the uh, the gauge panel all painted up. Got the wiring ran for the headlights, parking lights, turn signal on this side. Uh, it's ran to that side too. I just got to join them, clean it up on that. I got my generator all painted. Um, this is the front. This is the back. This is obviously the middle, and then the the fan and pulley. Uh, so these will all once I put these together, I think it'll look pretty sharp uh, compared to what it used to look like. So that's done. That's still. Not quite, I can touch it, but I don't, not quite ready to handle it yet. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is the uh, starter right there, so I can get those put on. Um, other than that, I've just been uh, kind of tinkering out here. Got a few, uh, watched a couple of videos last night, not very many. Um, I've said before, I've honestly been burning the candle at both ends uh, too much, probably and uh, try to watch a video and end up falling asleep and again it has nothing to do with the content of the video it just has the everything to do with the fact I'm dead ass tired that's what it boils down to uh, Darren's video about uh, titles was kind of interesting the other day uh, people say they don't like the videos because of the title I think that's kind of funny videos have always been a content for me and uh, anybody who I've watched for a while I can't say that I honestly pay attention to the title too much until I watch the video because I just click on it and watch it but uh, anyway maybe if we put uh, you know live nude dancers or something like that maybe everybody would watch more videos or watch the videos more maybe the title would grab more people um, <laughs> anyway that's just something I was kind of thinking about earlier while I was laying underneath the truck trying to fix wiring um, you guys all know how exciting wiring is but uh, it's got to be done so once I get that done it'll all be from the wiring is done on the inside of the cab. Um, I just had to terminate all the wiring at the lights out front. So I got to make, I think, two more connections, run two ground wires, and then uh, do a little uh, a little work to secure my harness going from, from the uh, cab to the front. Uh, my goal is to get that done today. I go to work tonight, so I'm going to get that done today. And uh, I wanted to get my dash done today, or my gauge panel done today, and I wanted to get my generator painted today. I don't know if I'll get my starter painted today or not, but I got to paint the generator brackets as well. I just haven't got a chance to do that yet, but uh, I may end up a couple of those, I think two of them, uh, maybe just one of them is ready to paint now. So if it is, I'll probably throw some paint on it here in a few minutes, and then uh, then that's done. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna cut this thing off. I uh, hope everybody has a good work week. hope everybody's staying cool wherever you're at. I uh, hope nobody's getting snow, <laughs> or if you happen to be in that part of the country. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I'm going to 
get back to work here and try and finish this up and then uh, go inside take a nap and uh, go to work tonight I got a uh, car show this weekend Saturday I'm gonna go to the NorCal knockout looking forward to that one uh, so I probably I won't be out in the garage this this weekend coming up it's my weekend to work anyway but uh, I'll probably be out here some on Wednesday getting some stuff done and uh, yeah I'll bring you if I do anything interesting I'll bring you guys along so anyway I'll see you guys here uh, when I see you I'll try to uh, I'll try to hit record if I come back out here and do interest anything interesting or have anything interesting to say and uh, that's about it so you guys all take it easy be good have a good work week and uh, we'll talk to you soon all right guys so here's how I got my wiring coming from the truck body up goes along there's a ridge in the uh, or I guess it'd be a canyon from this side a, uh, in the inner fender well so that's how I have it um, those will be tied up against that that piece of the frame that comes out there those will be tied up there I just haven't done that yet that's how to get done uh, those are just put in with those self tapping screws for now they'll get swapped out for uh, excuse me either uh, either those pop rivets that are the threads I think they're called thread zerts or something like that that'll most likely what they'll be uh, swapped out for but the uh, the self tappers put the hole in there for me so I know where to put them at so that'll be uh, that'll happen eventually just not right now I'm just trying to get everything located so everything's gonna tie in right here you can see it's still kind of a mess right now I just haven't haven't done it yet but uh, that's gonna get done next and then the front end wiring will be complete so back to work all right guys I'm gonna get this thing to show up Oh, yeah, it's uh, 103. Yeah, that's in the garage. Got my air conditioner going. Also, my uh, paint booth fan. Anyway, got time to clean up my mess here. Here's what I got. Comes up. I gotta put one more clamp here. I just couldn't do it with the tire in the way. I'm gonna do that uh, real quick before I close up shop. Anyway, there you go. There's everything. Headlight, parking light, and you got our T right here, and uh, the rest of the lights go over to the other side. So yeah, pretty much, uh, pretty much done with this. So I gotta modify another clamp here real quick and uh, put one in. Get it. Uh, I put it. Uh, I'll put it right there. That'll hold it nice and snug. And uh, won't have to worry about this flopping around, getting into the tire or anything crazy like that. But I will put a clamp here. I just don't have any clamps with a uh, quarter inch hole in them. So you get one of those or make one of those, one of the two, and uh, we'll clamp this right here. Call that good. But uh, all right, guys, I'm gonna clean up shop. It's uh, hot. I'm sweaty. I'm ready for a shower. So uh, I'm gonna go do that and try and take it out, eat a little dinner taking out before I go to work tonight so we'll see you guys later on this week hope everybody has a good work week we'll talk to you later be good well come on focus now there it is well maybe I was just blurry eyed turned out it's the was the camera it's uh, Wednesday morning Let's see it is 943 and uh, What's going on here? Come on now. There you go. Uh, anyway, it's 9.43 I think I said. So, see I've been home from work about three and a half hours. Been out here for a couple hours. Hung out with the kids for a bit, wife for a bit. But uh, anyway, got my generator put back together. Just got a nice coat of paint. New brushes and everything. Um, that's what this wing nut's for. That's the brush there. So I think I have it clocked right. Uh, I might not. If I got a, I may have to clock it a little bit different when I put it in, but I haven't. I just realized I haven't cleaned up the brackets and painted them yet. So I'll do that. I'll clean up the bracket, paint that up, and then uh, it mounts down low on this side goes right here so the plan is the way I have it clocked the wires will be 
down here will go straight under here. So uh, you won't see any of those wires. Um, you don't see any wires for my heater blower motor. You don't see any wires for my headlights. You know that little bit of uh, convoluted tubing you won't see once the radiator's in. I gotta put one more mount on that. Uh, and then the only other wires that come up will be the ignition. And they will come up from behind here. So, uh, oh and then of course the starter. But it's so far down there, you won't really see anything that comes. Again, it'll come right out of here and boom, right to it. So, uh, yeah, all the wires will be hidden. Shouldn't really, you know, you may see a little bit of each one. But I'm going to wrap them in that, uh, uh, that fabric looking wrap. I can't think of what it's called right now that sticks to itself but it's kind of like what they used back when they built this thing so it'll have kind of a vintage look to it but uh, all my wiring will be hitting that's that was the goal that was what I kind of uh, kind of worked hard to achieve excuse me while I get a sip of coffee here this is more like a gulp but anyway that's what happens when you work all night <laughs> but uh, anyway I'm gonna work out here till about lunchtime and then uh, hit the sack go back to work tonight but um, I wanted to get that generator put together today, and I did. Um, I don't think the clocking's right on the mount. I, mean, I think I'm gonna have to adjust that, but I'll wait till I get the mounts in. And uh, I already have my wires built for it, I just gotta ran, run them. I do have to pick up a voltage regulator. I don't have one of those. So I gotta pick up one of those and put that in. I got a couple ideas of where to hide it. And then, uh, that's about it. I am gonna, uh, I saw on uh, one of Chevaholic's posts somewhere uh, that he's had good luck with the Petronix kit. I wasn't gonna do that before. Uh, the main reason was I was trying to get it done by a certain date and budget reasons I wasn't gonna get a Petronix kit, but uh, now that the, uh, the original completion date is gone, I can uh, wait a little bit longer and get the get the Petronix kit to put electronic ignition in it. I like those because it still looks like the the factory distributor, um, you know, versus putting an MSD in here or something like that. If I had a uh, if I had a more hot rotted motor, then I'd I'd stick an MSD in it. But uh, you know, don't need that right now, so I'm not going to do it. But uh, they're not that expensive. But you know, every penny counts when you got a family. Uh, most of you guys understand that. So we'll wait till we can afford that, uh, which I'll probably be purchasing that maybe later on this week uh, after this Friday. And uh, the big holdup now, I gotta get that. Um, the big holdup now as far as firing it is, I might run it off the, uh, you see it up there, the two barrel for now, um, until I can find the right four barrel carburetor. The four barrel that I had is a factory Thunderbird. Um, carburetor I think the base is warped and I don't really want to mess with that uh, because I hate vacuum leaks so I may just run it off the two barrel for now until I find a good four barrel for it and uh, you know the uh, intake swap isn't that difficult so we'll worry about that when the time comes uh, especially in an engine compartment like this where you can reach everything uh, you know toughest part is the fact that they're heavy but uh, I can handle it if not I'll get my brother over here to give me a hand or something but uh, that's kind of the plan for now. Um, I'm gonna keep plugging away here, keep getting stuff done. I think I showed you guys, uh, I forgot to upload the video on Monday, but uh, the dash is looking sweet. Um, the gauges look great in there, I think. Um, the next, uh, one other thing I'm gonna order this week is the bezels for all my switches so I can put all my switches in. And uh, once I do that, order a battery or not order a battery, but pick up a battery, and then uh, I can test all my lights and everything. So, that's cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna keep plugging along. I will, uh, if I do anything else interesting, I'll bring you guys along. If not, uh, this will be a little hump day update. I may just uh, edit these down a little bit and mash them together and do a Monday and a hump day update. I think that's what I'm probably gonna end up doing. I'll do that here in a little bit, but uh, I'm gonna get back to work. If I get something good done, I'll bring you guys along. Um, if not, I'll uh, probably take my camera with me this weekend and uh, uh, take some pictures at the car show we're going to do this weekend. It's fun. So, uh, 
going with, uh, I think my brother's going to try and make it if he's not working. Uh, my brother-in-law and sister, they're going to try and come down. And then, uh, of course, my good buddy Bryce that won a car there last year, he says he's going to win another one this year. So we'll see. They're uh, raffling off a 66 Thunderbird with a uh, 428 in it. Uh, 66 Thunderbird's not my favorite, but uh, 428 is one of my favorites. So, uh, you know, not a bad pickup. So we'll definitely be buying raffle tickets for that. So you guys all take it easy, be good, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.